Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 937 div4, and we're gonna solve the second problem that is upscaling. So uh, we know that like a lot of people might have solved this problem, but the thing is there are a lot of different approaches. So we'll learn one such approach, which I found it was really interesting by some of the top coders. So let's go and discuss the problem. So we will be given an integer n and we have to output a two by a two n cross two n checkboard made of two by two squares alternating hash and dot. So this is what they give. We have to output this in this sense. So let's try to understand this. So here, if it is one, so if it is one, I can simply keep hash. Everything is like a set of four boxes, right? I'll try to reduce it. If it is two, it will be hash dot and dot hash. If it is three, it is hash dot hash dot hash uh, dot and hash dot hash. Okay. And similarly for four and so on. Now we'll try to solve the problem for this and then we'll uh, solve for other things. Okay. How do we solve for this? The basic pattern. So uh, what do we do? You know, any uh, 2D uh, grid will have uh, two things, right? The outer loop and the inner loop in order to iterate a matrix. So what do I do for i equal to zero to i less than n, i plus plus like that for j equal to zero to n. Uh, this, um, let's keep like this. So this n is not included. Zero, if two means i can be zero and one, j can be zero and one. Now, let us assume this is what? This is the entire thing is zero. This is one, this is zero and this is one. Similarly, it is zero and it is one. So it is something like this is zero and this is one, this is zero, this is one. We have many different possible combinations. Now, if i is even and j is also even, that is i is zero and j is zero, we get a hash. Correct, it is alternating. Now, if i is even, that is the first row is even and j is a odd, what do we get? It is a dot. I is a dot. I is a dot and J is a even. Again dot. I I is odd, J is even, it's dot and I is a odd and J is odd. So I is odd and J is odd, it is hash. Now what is happening here? If it is even, even, it is hash. If it is even, odd, uh, if it is even and odd, it is dot. If it is odd, even, it is dot. If it is odd, odd, it is hash. Can I simplify this further? I can simplify. I'm solving only for this, right? So odd plus even is what? Odd plus even is always odd. Odd plus even is always odd. Even plus even is even. Odd plus odd is also even. So I can simplify this and write like i plus j mod 2 equal to equal to 0. If this is even, print hash, else you print dot. So we solved for this problem. In two loops, you just keep this condition, you get hash or you print dot. But the question is, they told you have to print it multiple times, right? Two times it should come. So instead of this, I can expand this further. Instead of hash dot and dot hash, let's expand this further means it can be hash hash dot 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 hash hash okay this also can come okay instead of this i keep hash hash and dot dot but they told this is not only possible you have to make it two times so what do i do i tell that okay copy this and paste it so what do i do let me just tell that you know you can keep it here and uh, you copy this entire thing and uh, paste it similarly we copy this one and paste it. Uh, what is this? This is dot dot and hash hash. How do I achieve this? Now I know that I broke this down and uh, I got hash hash dot dot. Instead of this, I can make it as a string, right? String empty, append this value, s plus equal to hash hash, s plus equal to dot dot. For a single row, I am appending the value and then on the outer loop, I'm just printing it. So I can show you the code here. So if it is even for n equal to two, what happens? I equal to zero and I can be one. J equal to zero, J can be one. Now zero plus zero is what? It is hash, right? Hash hash. S becomes hash hash. S value is hash hash. And if J now I equal to zero, 
j equal to 0 i equal to 0 j equal to 1 means it becomes odd now s gets appended with this dot dot okay now i am printing s two times if i am printing s two times what happens it is hash hash dot dot hash hash dot dot right now this is processed now let's go for the next element that is i equal to 1 and j equal to 0 if i equal to 1 j equal to 0 i am already clearing sc equal to empty if i equal to 1 and j equal to 0 it is odd so i print dot dot this one comes and i equal to 1 and j equal to 1 means both are 1 1 1 plus 1 is even even becomes hash hash now similarly i am printing this two times dot dot hash hash and dot dot hash hash instead of if condition i am using a ternary operator so this is one cool submission i saw and i thought of sharing with you so uh, this is the submission link so let me know how did you solve this in the comments so that it will help all the other learners in the community so thank you so much guys see you in the next video bye